All right, so we filmed this video out of order, so the second part of this video is going to be a little fucked up. Just like me and Wes. It's perfect. That's perfect it. representation of who we are as human beings. So, in the second part of the video, we talked about how to outfit a plate carrier, why you want to outfit it that way, all of that fun shit. The first part of the video, we just want to show you how to fit a plate carrier to your body and why Wes is putting it where he is. All right, so now some of these times, like some of these plate carriers, they'll come with instructions of where it goes. And I know it should be self-explanatory, but just in case, we'll go over it because sometimes it's just not. It, it seems like a lot. Sometimes it's fucking confusing. Yeah, there's just a lot going on. You've never messed with them. Reading's like, hard. It is sometimes. Pictures, also hard. A little bit. Yeah. So this is the back. It'll say on your plates, like, um, like curved face and body. You know what I mean? Yeah, you want you want that concave to go. You want to bend around your body. So as you can see here, it's like a dish, right? That's so you want this too. part to be here, but in this case, it's the back plate. So yeah, it'll be back there. But what I'm saying is like the, they make it easy. Mm -hmm. like say yeah, you right. really. It's pretty dummy proof. Yeah. There's a bunch of stupid redneck people out there like <laughs> us that probably like man this thing's uncomfortable. Well, yeah, yeah. All right, so so like I got the trauma plate just absorb some of the extra little cushion if you get shot. If you get shot, you're gonna probably break something. I'll Let's be honest. Guarantee like, getting broken ribs, broken ribs, least. something. But you ain't dead. So because this isn't like a foolproof thing, you know, it no. will stop the round. Yeah. But you it's, it's gonna hurt like a motherfucker. Don't get it twisted. Take the wind out and knock, yep. knock you down. It's going to feel like it jacked you up. Yeah. So so you make sure that's obviously the back. It's the back of the plate carrier. You can tell because the back of the plate carrier usually has a drag handle. Absolutely. Right there. So if you're confused on it, there's usually a drag handle. That's so if your boy gets hit, yep. you can grab it. Wes is a big dude, but this I'll be able to get him out. This literally goes the whole way down the back, that drag handle. If you go to get a plate carrier and it does not have one of these, do not buy that plate carrier. The people, the manufacturer, did not know what they were doing whenever they designed that plate carrier. And make sure you're buying an actual plate carrier, not one that's, that's a plate carrier that says for airsoft only. Get an yeah. actual, spend the extra like 10, 10 bucks, bucks. Yeah. and get a real one. Yeah. So you're going to put that, that curved side facing that molly side, which is that, that's your molly right there. Yep. So you put that curved side in there. Oh, yeah, you got that. Yeah. Velcro is a little tricky. Hate it. <laughs> that side says strike side out and then your trauma pad if you get one you put between your plate and your body so like this is gonna be your body side yep see it, it's, it's not gonna do you there. any good to absorb the impact if the rounds just going through it on the outside yeah. so remember soft side goes towards your body that's it yep softness towards your body and then you're gonna want to cinch that down get your, your hand in there and pull that up there as far as that plate will get up there and then just cinch that down in there. Yep. That way, it, that plate won't move in there. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. ride, like, because if you take off and run, you do not want that thing bouncing around, yes. bouncing up and down, because it's gonna, it's gonna put shock on your body, and it just, it just hurts after a while. And then, the front, about the same way. Now, some of these will actually have a, a little pad, here, and you can't, I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh, gotcha. There's an elastic band that'll kind of hold that all right there. Get it up there with the camera. Yep. Then. There hey, wait one second. I'll get behind the camera. Yeah, make, make, make sure you can see it. Yeah, you're good. All right, so yeah, you can you see it. You see that? There's a little piece of crap there. And it's just to hold it there. That way, because this is a little bit wider, so it gives you that pocket versus the back. It, the, it has these wings on the front here. So again, same thing. You want that strike side, the side that's gonna get shot by the bullet. Hopefully not, but just in case. Just in case. Facing that outside molly or that little pocket there. And the easy way to tell it is if you throw them in there and it feels like it's riding like shit, it feels like the, the plate carrier is getting pushed away from your body, it's probably because that concave is going the wrong way. And that's, that's all that there is to it. So if you get it on, and it's so uncomfortable, like you feel extra pressure on your chest or extra pressure like right in the middle of your back. And you're like, what in, what in the hell's going on? I put shit in wrong before. Oh, I cool. know I have. You're going fast and stuff. Just take it out and check it, and that's probably what your problem is. 
you probably put your plates in. Oh, and, and think about it, it's something new. You're like, oh, I gotta get it together. Yeah, now. it's like I'm, I'm excited. I'm throwing shit yeah, in and extra pieces. Yeah, exactly. Whatever. Yeah, that's what I do whenever I do shit. So, anyways. <laughs> so again, just like the back, you want to hold it down and get that up there. But you gotta watch. I don't know what I'm doing. Just you saw watch that scene. This is the shit I've done today. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? I said fucking tell. What am I doing? Anyway. You don't need two people to do this. I'm just like, I want to be a part of the video. Absolutely. I just want to, I'm just trying to hang out with my friend. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I what? I thought it was yeah. dumb. What I did I know, was dumb. I, was laughing, I know. Okay. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, you want to hold that down, match them seams up, and then get that there, and it'll just cinch it down. Yep. Just like that. Uh, and then your plates are in. Yep. Now, these have multiple different adjusters. Some dough. Some dump. If you get a Rothko one, you have adjusted here on the shoulder. And later in the video, we're talking like Wes and I both wear Rothko. And we'll, we tell you why later in the video. Now you got adjustment there in the shoulders, and that's going to adjust your, your ride from top to bottom. Now if you throw this thing on and it sits down past your crotch, it's a little too low and you're going to want to hike that up a little no bit. No one wants to get shot in the ding ding, but hey, <laughs> it's not the most vital organ. It might be your favorite. No, <laughs> that shit ain't vital as you think it I'm is. I'm pretty you know? attached to it. I love it. Well, mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, all of them. No, I love them. I love, love them. <laughs> so, anybody's out there, <laughs> it's mama. <laughs> oh, okay, back to the plate. Anyways. Here we go. So, they adjust very simple. A little bit of Velcro. Thanks, my lovely Dude, assistant. I have nothing to do. I told Wes before we started, I was like, this is Wes's video. You got the Velcro there, and you can cinch it up and down. I'm going to readjust it back to where it goes for me. And this Velcro, it's a tough pull. Like, don't be... Sh like, whenever you get in there, you got to rip that shit around. Yeah. You really do. Yank that some bitch. Mm -hmm. But get it... Wherever you need to adjust it, like... His torso is smaller than mine because we had to adjust his a little bit more than yep. I had to adjust mine. That's pretty much out of the box on the body. But And what's nice about these is whenever you, like whenever you do adjust it, put these on, and the Rothko has the pads here. Oh, Plus, they're... they're a little rough, and that makes it stick to whatever you're wearing underneath. You can get a frog top. You can get whatever the hell you want. But this makes it stick a little bit better, and it makes the ride more comfortable. So if yeah. you're bending, if you're twisting, it keeps those plates where you need them to be just a little bit better. In, the, in these situations, any little thing that helps you stay alive is perfect. There's never any overkill to the design of a plate carrier. Oh, that's it. And it's all about your headspace, too. If you can keep your head in the game, not like, oh, I'm tired, my shoulders hurt, yeah. know, my back hurts. you got to get this thing fitting as, mo as comfortable as you can. It's not going to be comfortable. Like, it's not meant to be comfort friendly. Yeah. But that is a plus. If you can get it fitting right, it will be semi comfortable mm -hmm. where it's tolerable, where you're not gonna get like your shoulder hot spots. You're not gonna like that's that's the roughest part about it. If it's not fitting right, you're gonna get hot spots. You're gonna get rubbed raw. Mm -hmm. Like it's just. And you might still, anyways, depending on how heavy your carrier is. This is about 25 pounds. Yeah. With every with all the shit that Wes has on it, be expecting to be between 20 to 25 pounds every single time. Oh, guaranteed. The more ammo you got, the obviously the heavier you're gonna be. Yep. You throw a backpack, some of these, they'll come with like, oh, you take this, the back sappy out, you hook to this, do that craziness. It, it's all too much. This it's is good. just for quick go fitment though. Yeah. Yeah. All so, right. And then the cummerbunds, most of them, as this is called a cummerbund. I know it sounds really weird, but yeah. they'll come with these little drawstrings. So I got mine tied the knot so it doesn't come undone, but you just... Tighten this up. I like to tighten up as tight as I can. Like, I'm not a small person side to side, you know what I mean? But I like mine to fit tight because the elastic will eventually start to stretch. Just like any elastic does, it'll start to wear out, start to stretch out. So I cinch mine down as tight as it can be right out the gate. And then you just get that even back out by yep. pulling on one side or the other, however you, which other side you pulled, and just tuck your string deep in there so it's not bugging you because you feel like me it'll drive you nuts just seeing it there and then you just get it in there and once you get it there it's it's ready to ride so they get these clips on the side now they're adjustable so when you go to throw it on for the first time they're probably going to be all stretched the whole way out so they'll be able to do this side 
They go, all this will be out. You just stretch that out. And you just grab one. Now, I always keep my right side clipped because I always have the excess weight of my magazines on my left. So you clip that side, and I'll leave it show. alone. Hey, yep. Just clip it on there. These you'll mess with. And right here is your... That's where you pull, and I'll show that in a second. But you can see you can get your finger in there, and there's a big tab that you can get a hold of on that sun bitch. Yep. So then you'll clip your other side there. Now, right now, you think, oh, I'm ready to go. No, like, this thing's super loose. You don't want that. Go ahead and pull that one side, and you want to pull it even yep. as much as you can on both sides. On this side, like I said, I always have mine already preset on one side or the other, so that side's already done. So I know once I get the about here, it's good. Yeah. And then you go ahead and start messing with these. Now, this is going to be on your preference. Some people don't care where they're lined up at, and I do. So you just give that, tuck that underneath your chin. Again, once there's magazines in here, it gets a little heavier, it gets a little harder to mess with shit. So you just keep one side, get it lined up. You want the, as much molly as you can because that's not supporting anything but what you molly on there. Yeah. So that's just there. Unless you get side sappies. I was going to say, side sappies can go in here. The Rothko yeah. carriers, they have a spot right here. Give your big old hand. Right here you can see there's a spot right there in a tab. You open that up, the side sappy can go in there. There. Yep, right there. So like that'll be the. Only we just don't have them in right now. That'll be the only real weight. And then, again, the same thing on the other side. So there, now it's on. So when I take mine off, I always do the same thing. I pull one side up, pull it up, take it off. I will kind of tuck it out of the way. I'll unclip this side, let this kind of fall, and I always just reach up, and they got these quick disconnects here. Take that off. Center it down wherever it goes. Reclip that shoulder piece back up. Tuck that in there out of the way. And if you tuck this in, you can lay your plate carrier down with your mag still in. Pull that up. Set that across. And lay that back across that. And there it is. It, look, it looks like it's back together, but you can quickly just grab it, pick it straight up, throw it on, give that side. It's the longest part is you get that side clip on. Because once you get that side clip on, you give it a cinch and you can get into the fight right away. And then once you get a second, rehook that side, slap her down, and you're ready to go. Yep. There you go. So if y'all get a plate carrier, and you just need to reference things on how you want to do stuff, um, you're more than welcome to comment what plate carriers are the best, anything like that. We don't know. We wear Rothko. Super cost effective. Whole build out here is about 500 bucks, and it's going to get you downrange safely. Obviously, more safe than if you had it or not. Yeah. I said about doing um, like there's another part to this video. There's actually not going to be because that's a perfect video right there. Yeah. And we're just going to leave it at that. We're just going to leave it at that. That's how you put a plate carrier on. Outfitting it, we might cover it later. I might throw a little bit into that after this. But that's the most important part right yeah. there. Making sure it's fitting, making sure it's riding right. Yeah, there's a little bit of room right up here. But here, come over here. Yeah, right there. Yeah, there's a little bit of room right up here, but his heart's protected, the guts are protected. If you have side sappies in, that's gonna be protected here too. Now you might notice that the back is riding down a little bit lower. You know, if someone's shooting this way, that angle in here. Wes always says front facing towards the enemy. That's it, man. All the damn time. He's never going to get shot in the back. He's not going to be running away. And if he does, it's because someone got behind him. He just didn't know they were there. Yeah. But that's why we're going to start working on some team stuff, everything like that, so that whenever you're engaging somebody, this is the main thing that they're going to see the entire time. Absolutely. All right, everybody. If you like that video, like it, subscribe it. Woo! If you don't, you suck. If you don't, you suck and you lose.